So there are subtle differences between a plot and a list plot and plotting a function versus plotting a discrete set of points, but there, other than that, there's very little difference between the two, whether we're showing all the data or some of the data. And really the goal in most of physics is to make your data match your function. But I really want to talk about here as we're ending sort of the scope of things and how big can things go. And it can go pretty big. What if we wanted to graph all of the trajectories, or many of the trajectories, say 10 of them, with various launch angles? Well, we could do that and we could see where each of them would land up. Or what if we wanted to graph a series of other functions in a series of time? Well, Mathematica will happily do that for us as well. And, you know, if you wanted to graph a series of sine curves, you wanted to fill them in looking for overlapping, yep, can do that as well. And then, is it only plots that can get pretty cool? No, there are, you can do the same thing with list plots, and you can fill in between the axes and talk about distributions and whatnot. Or, what if you wanted to represent your data over another dimension? Well, you wait a second, indeed, there you go. You can have a list plot over several dimensions. So hopefully you've seen that Mathematica is a very powerful graphing tool and have been introduced to some of the options which are available to you to customize your graph.